God give Abraham Isaac, right? So remember, Abraham's pretty old. You know, he's up there in years. Sarah's up there in years. They, they were Abram and Sarai. Now they're Abraham and Sarah. It's kind of like Prince. And kids, if you don't know who Prince is, you know, go look him up. He was Prince. Then he became the artist, artist formerly known as Prince. Then he was Prince again. It's a fun time. It, it's really good. He's really good at basketball and making pancakes. He's awesome. And I love, that's a different thing. That's a different um, series we're going to do, but that's coming later. Pastor Goodman is going to be uh, spearheading that one. But the thing is, you have Abraham and Isaac. So God gives Isaac to Abraham in his older age, and he makes a promise. He says, through Isaac shall your offspring be blessed. So that's the promise. And then God comes to him in Genesis 22 to test him. Right, this testing, this temptation to test him. And he says, kill your son, your only son. And Ishmael's like over in the corner going, hey, am I chopped liver over here? You know, I don't know if that's what Ishmael did. But you have Isaac, take your only son Isaac and kill him, sacrifice him. So Abraham chops the wood, goes out and they see Mount Moriah. You know, that's where you get, they call the wind Moriah from Paint Your Wagon, if you ever wondered about that one. But you have Mount Moriah and they go to it and Abraham is about to sacrifice Isaac. And, and this this text, it's not that Abraham thinks, okay, God's not going to make me go through with it. It's a test to see, does Abraham believe that God keeps his promise? Will God keep his promise no matter what I'm going through, even to the point of having to kill my only son? Is God going to keep his promise? So that's the testing the whole time. And Abraham is about to kill his son, and the angel of the Lord stops him and says, Abraham, Abraham, I know that you would not withhold even your only son from me. And then there's a ram caught in a thicket. Wait a minute, Jesus, crown of thorns, all that type of stuff. And it's sacrificed in the stead of Isaac. So there's kind of like some Jesus stuff there. But what you really have, and it's beautiful in this narrative, is the promise that God does not break his promise. He made a promise to you in the waters of baptism that you are his and he is yours. He promises forgiveness when you eat and drink his body and blood. He promises forgiveness in the words of absolution. He promises to never leave you nor forsake you. God's not going to break his promise. You'll be tested every day to doubt it, every day to not believe it. And you know what? Some days you will fail that test. You will succumb. You will give in to the temptation not to believe it. But guess what? God doesn't break his promise. He made it to you. He's going to see you through thick and thin. He's not going anywhere, just as he's never went anywhere with Abraham. They carried Abraham through, Isaac through, Jacob through, all the way down to Jesus, who went all the way through hell and back to get you. It's fun times. God bless y'all. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.